Greetings guys, this is Tokarev and today we are driving the Type T34, the Chinese Tier 5 medium tank. And guys, first of all I want to apologize for the lack of content lately on my channel. But the last week of school have been really busy. I had lots of tests and I also had to make a video for French. But that is all gone now and now we are having holidays. The spring holidays here in Holland. And I thought I want to get my third tier 10 tank, the Object 140. And that is no problem because I've got the, T the T54, the tank uh, previously for the Object 140. But there's one problem. Uh, I've got three female crew members which are located in the T54. And I want to play the T54 and for that I need one more female crew member. So I thought, okay, no problem. But I have completed the medium tanks, the tank destroyers and the heavy tank missions already. So I had to choose between the light tank missions and the medium tank missions. Or uh, the light tank missions, excuse me. So it was light tank missions or artillery missions. And uh, as I have no artillery, that leaves me with one choice. I have to complete the, um, yeah, the light tank missions. So I thought, which light tank line am I going to choose to complete my missions in? So I did not uh, fancy playing lower tier uh, light tanks. So I decided to pick the Chinese line because they start off at tier 6 and they have the tier 7 and 8 light tanks. And I think that is a really good decision because I don't like playing the lower tiers that much. So that's why I am playing the... T34 of uh, the type T34 and you can already see this is a beast of a tank and I just bought the T the type T34 yesterday and I was just playing around in it and I played almost all day long trying to get the 5916 the tier 6 um, light tank of the Chinese so I was just playing this and then I remembered and I started playing and I remembered how good this tank is. This tank is very similar to the Russian tier 5 medium tank, the T-34. This is just a Chinese copy of that. And it is the same. It is precisely the same. If you mount the 57mm on this tank, the rate of fire is just crazy. You have got really good accuracy. You have got really good rate of fire, as I said. And you have got a good tier 5 penetration. Of 112 I think it is just look at this I can just pick apart that BDR so quickly it's not even funny this thing is a beast same for the T-34 it is an absolute beast of a tank it, it, it all comes down to the quick rate of fire and the good mobility this thing is not as mobile as a Cromwell for instance but it is so mobile. The turret reverse is just insanely fast. The track reverse is insanely fast. It also has not a very high armor value. But as you can see the armor is so well sloped on the tank. That it gives it a very good armor value. It's also very good for side scraping and angling. And you always want to angle this thing at 45 degrees. Because the side armor is precisely the same as the frontal armor. What this thing can't do. This thing can't fight on in head-on engagements, like that, like this. I put two shots into the tanks uh, I see aiming at me and I pull back. And this is a really bad engagement actually for me. But now I know that the guy is fired. So I can put on two shots for every shot he puts into me. Or he misses again so I can put another shot in. See if I can do this. And I take him out. And now there's this other guy who is not focused on me and I can take him out as well. So it's 10-10 right now, 4 kills for me, and 1300 damage. Good stuff so far. This thing is an absolute beast. And you will, say me hearing, uh, you will hear me saying that a lot in this video. This thing is a beast of a tank. If you know how to drive this well, then this is an absolute beast. You need to find the flanks of enemy tanks as you can see here. You need to find enemies who are occupied fighting your other allies. So it, 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 if you keep that in mind, this thing is just mentally strong. So I've got 5 kills so far, almost 1500 damage.
There's a Panzer 4 H there. But he is in a really strong position. So I can't fight him head on. So I am waiting for my team to go after him. <coughs> so I know that I can see that he's occupied. So I'm going after him. I can see he's focusing his attention to the T-34 on my team. But he gets taken out. So now it's the time for me to go in. I missed the first shot. But my teammate puts one into him. And I take the kill. Good stuff. So. Six kills so far. Scores are even. And there's the type T. 32, 34 of the enemy team. So what I do now. I aim fully. And I take him out. And that's seven kills for me. And 1600 damage. Well now. The Valentine has last been spotted on the other side of the map. And the Greeley has been spotted between the buildings near the enemy spawn point. So I'm thinking of going after the Valentine. But then I uh, realized that the Valentine is a really slow tank. And I am almost sure that he is going around the big mountain. Around the lake. To face me where I am standing now. So what I first want to do is try to take out the Greeley. Because my team is also going after the Greeley. So support uh, for my team is also here. I uh, am in contention for Redley Walter, so that why, that's why I was not shooting. But I could have just better shot because, as you can see, my rate of fire is really quickly and the Panzer 4 h took the kill. But that doesn't really matter because there is still a Valentine somewhere around. And there he is, he gets spotted. I am going after him. What I'm going to do is use this Ridge of yeah, rubble that's in my way using as, as cover and he's showing his flank so it's even more easy for me to do this but I do need to aim manually and not how to aim at him and there we go there we go that is another Redley Walters for me and this thing is just so good it is not even funny this tank is so good as long as you can find the flanks of the enemy tanks and if you know how to play a medium and supporting role. So guys, let's take a look at the post-game stats and then head into our next game because I had two really good games in a row. So, let's check them out. So guys, unsurprisingly for this game we got a Ace Tanker Badge, a Fire for Effect token, the Redley Walters medal for killing 8 tanks, a Top Gun medal for killing 6 tanks and a High Caliber medal. I did almost 1,900 damage, I caught 8 kills in this game and I got 1,214 base experience, more than anyone has been able to get in this game. I fired 40 shots of which 32 hit and 25 penetrated doing 1,897 damage. I took 3 hits this game of which 2 penetrated and 1 bounced. That was one shot from the little scout tank we engaged in the middle of the game. I spotted two enemy tanks and I destroyed eight of the ten enemy tanks that I engaged. And I had to travel 2.2 kilometers to do so. I made a very good profit of 24,000 credits of the 28,000 credits that I collected. So let's get into the next game of me driving the Type T-34 on the map Kumarin. So here we go in our second game in the Type T-34. We are on the map Kamaran as you can see. A map that I don't play that often. And how I feel to win on this map is always go to the middle. Because the middle has sight over the whole map. And the first thing you will see is people trying to get um, here next to this mountain here. So to counter that position I always go behind this building. And there we go. Make a small misplay of stopping here, but I wanted to put one shot in. And then I see the T1 Heavy and quickly get into cover. Because that cruiser is dead anyway. And then a M5 Stewart gets spotted. Some poor aiming by me here. No idea how that shot missed. It looks like it went right through him. Put one shot in and he is down. And I am still into cover here. This is a really good position. Now I can see the, T, the, the T1 Heavy is occupied. So I can go in here. And I have his, almost his side armor. I have a side armor so I can put consistent shots into him. And now I'm making a small misplay. 
I thought that I could penetrate the side armor of the T1 Heavy there, but he's really well angled. But then I see the nice side armor of the turret of the T1 Heavy, and I can put consistent shots into that. And we have won the middle, so that's how easy it can be. And now I can just try to support my team all around here in the middle of this map. It's already 4-0 for our team. Like I see KV1 in the open there. I have his flank, so let's see if we can put some shots into him. Aim for a few seconds, and then I can put some shots into him. The last shots missed, but I get some good hits into him. And now I can see there's a Sherman 3 there. He is very nearly to our base, and I don't want him to spot my base campers, because my base campers could be the key to victory when I am maybe one of the last guys remaining in the middle of this map. So I want to kill this Sherman 3. Put a shot into him. I slide down. He misses. Put another shot in. And my rate of fire is so quick that I can put the last shell in before he even gets the time to reload. And then there's A4, A20 there. Put some shots into him. And this guy can't do anything about this. And he is down. This thing is so good in these kind of engagements. You really need to know how to play the supporting role in this tank. And if you know how to, this thing is just mentally strong. So, now I'm back on the middle. Because I've got some cover here. Got some bushes. So, everything is fine here. And you can see that big cluster of enemy tanks there. And they have won that flank. So, I am of course taking my attention towards this flank, but I can't shoot at them right now because they are behind a small hill. So, I have to wait be before they uh, near our base. Can't hit the M2 medium either. There is a base camper there. Try to put a shot into him, but I can't see him either. And now, the tanks have broken through. So, I am going to set up an ambush against them. Here in these bushes, because of course the enemy has to proceed through this side of the map to get near our base. And I'm almost sure that is what they are going to do, because this is a tier 5 game and these are not the most competent players. So now it's just a waiting game to see if there is anyone stupid enough. And there we go, the first victim is a KV-1S. He has a little bit of cover, but I still can make some good shots happen here. Shoots his bomb, shot misses unfortunately, put another shot in, and I take the kill by setting him on fire. Good stuff, 4 kills already for 1300 damage. And now there's an M7 coming around, some good leading shots here. One remaining shot and he is down as well. 1600 damage, 5 kills. And now there's a KV-1. Put some shots blind. There we go. I have the flank of this KV-1, so he is pretty much done. And I set him on fire again. Two fires in one game. If I had to uh, collect some missions for the, uh, the T-55A, I would have completed it right now. Because you have to get two fires in one game with a medium tank. So I would have completed that mission. But anyway, we're not on that mission right now. We're on a rampage. We've got a top gun medal already. Six kills and 1800 damage. And now it is 12 to 11 for our team. I know that the T67 is lost being spotted at the base. So I am going to set up here in these bushes and trying to spot him. While keeping an eye on the big open valley here see if I can get some shots or some spots off maybe I can spot the artillery as well you never know I'm just looking around here a bit and I can see that my team is proceeding around the map so it's just a waiting game right now when my team gets uh, around the map they will of course also be able to spot the enemy and I can of course help and support them by of course shooting the enemy down if one of the enemy tanks gets into the cap circle, it's very easy to know where they are. Of course, they are in the cap circle then, so then I immediately know where to go. 
it's just a waiting game right now. This this is a very open map with a lot of bushes, so there's no one that's stupid to drive straight through the open. That's why I am not driving in the open as well, because I can get caught out in the open and get taken out. And I don't really want to get taken out right now, because I am on a rampage. And the Stug 3G spots the artillery. Unfortunately, I have no shots at him. Because he is behind the hill. But it does not matter because he is down. Oh, again, it, the T-67 gets spotted. He's driving in the open. So I'm going to try to put some shots into him. That's one. Missed the second shot. Third shot goes in. Last shot because there... Oh, God. There we go. If I wouldn't have connected that shot, the T-67 would be able to get behind the ridge of his own base and would be safe there. That would be really dangerous for us if that guy would get behind that um, yeah, ridge right there. But oh god, who put this stone here? I have to get to the base because the Chinukai is capping. And he is certainly on full health because he hasn't been spotted the whole game long. So I am almost sure that this guy is on full health. So what I don't want to do now is drive straight through the open. I want to get into this ditch here to have some cover while going there. But then I make a small misplay and I think I can drive up here but I can't. And this is all costing me time. So I was really stressing if I could get my second Redley Walters of the day. Can I get my second? But then I think oh yes there's a ridge where I can drive up here. And now I'm thinking oh god he must be behind the stone. So I'm just driving in here. And the Stug is also racing towards the cap circle. Oh god, he's behind the house. And luckily he's taking his attention to the Stug and I can put some shots into him. I was trying to kill Steel, but then I see that the Chinukai is going behind the ridge in our base. And is just hoping that the... will kill him, but it doesn't matter. The Stug gets the kill on the Chinukai. But it doesn't really matter because, oh my god, what a game for the Type T-34. 2,200 damage in a Tier 5 game is just mental. So guys, let's also take a look at the post-game stats of this game. So, another Ace Tank, a Fire 4 effect and a token for killing an enemy tank. For setting it on fire, and the Bruiser token, and a Top Gun, and a High Caliber medal. I finished top again on both teams. By far on experience and on damage, I did 2,270 damage, got 7 kills and I got 1,310 base experience. I fired 44 shots of which 34 hit and 27 penetrated, giving me the 2,270 damage that I did in this game. In this game I only received one hit and that was the hit of the Cruiser 4 in the beginning of the game. If you do the supporting role well, you can see that you don't get hit a lot. Of the 10 vehicles that I engaged, I killed 7 and I traveled 1.7 kilometers in total. I also got a really good profit of 30,000 credits. So guys, I hope you liked this video of me showing off the Type T-34, which is very similar to the T-34. I highly recommend picking up the T-34 or the Type T-34. If you know how to play these tanks, they are absolute Beasts, I believe that everyone can play in this tank, regardless how good your stats are or anything. You just have to learn to play the supporting role and support your allies well needed. And of course, I hope you liked this video. Please leave a like because I did put a lot of time in making this video. If you want to check out more of my content, then you can of course check the videos on my channel. And I will of course see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.